Oh my gosh, I cannot figure out how to make this camera and video be straight. But then again, I'm not straight either, so I guess it's just fitting, right? <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the channel and a vlogmas today because it is Wednesday and what does Wednesday mean? Well, if you are a CW fan and a Riverdale fan, you know that today, tonight, is a new episode of Riverdale, I think. I think it's still airing. All right, I'm gonna be honest, I stopped watching it as it aired because I couldn't focus and I would just prefer Netflix. But still, I wanted it to be fitting. So, because of that, I just want to talk about how much I love Cheryl Blossom. In fact, I love her so much that I was her as a serpent for Halloween. So if you don't know who Cheryl Blossom is and you're not really aware of Riverdale, it's a show that is based on the Archie comics, which I will admit and be honest, I have not read. Riverdale is about a bunch of teenagers that, um, it's like watching a soap opera, a soap opera in really, really, really high quality HD. And Cheryl Blossom, aka Cherry Bombshell, is kind of a character that you, well, to be honest, when I first started watching it, I kind of really hated her. Well, not hated her. I loved and hated her, and I still almost kind of do. But she has a brother named Jason, and, um, you know what? Uh, let's not spoil it. But anyway, she's kind of like the head bitch in charge and the mean girl in school, which she is kind of mean. She's a character you cannot ignore, a character that you cannot forget. And this goes for both her looks and her personality. So I want to go over the reasons why I just really love Cheryl Blossom. I kind of already mentioned this, but the fact that she's just not boring. Like, I'm going to be honest, I'm not too much of an Archie fan himself. I don't dislike him or I don't, and I don't hate him, but I just, I, I kind of find him forgettable, which shouldn't really happen if you're the main character of the show, right? But when I watch him and whatnot, I just, I kind of don't really remember what goes on in his life unless it's like a really major plot point. But with Cheryl, man, there's always something wild going on in her life, you know? She's the main person in the show that's just like really dramatic and just all this obscene stuff happening in her life. And it's just, you can't forget her. The signature look with the red hair and the really thick lashes and the red lips, as you can see, I was kind of trying to channel her look today. I just, I, I, I don't have red hair. Every time she comes on the screen, my eyes just move over. Every time she comes on the screen, it's just, it's too hard not to look over at her because she's just so memorize, mesmerizing. Okay, not to be a Debbie Downer, but the second reason is the fact that I can relate to her when it comes to having an abusive parent. Now, is Cheryl Blossom an angel? No, she's done some pretty, um, she's done some pretty wild things in the show, but I understand it. It's like a defense mechanism when you've been abused all of your life. You have to do whatever it is that you can to try to protect yourself, especially if the threat is still ongoing. Every time when she feels really upset, when she's getting beaten down, you know, verbally and whatnot from her mother, I feel that. I feel that very much, and I think the fact that, okay, her dad wasn't anything too great either, but since her mom is more in the picture now, it's just, it's so much more relatable. And I think that's just one of the things I really enjoy seeing a character that goes through the same experiences that I had to go through. And I just wanna like go into the TV screen or the laptop screen and like, you know, just give her a hug. The third reason being that she is also a bisexual woman. It was confirmed by Madeline herself. So I don't, I don't recall if they say that outright in the show, at least not since uh, the last episode that I've seen and if they didn't mention it, it might be completely just, it might have disappeared from my brain and my memory. But I was looking it up when I was making my list and Madeline said herself that, yes, Cheryl is bisexual and I, bisexual woman myself, so heck yeah. Also, the actress herself is vegan as well. And so I'm going, I'm going to assume that Cheryl Blossom is 
too. So let's just throw that in there. And the last reason that I really like her, or more of that I can really relate to her, is the fact that, you know, she's a loner. You know, you see her as this person who is like the most popular in school, and the cameras, the writing make it seem like she's, you know, very popular. And of course, Veronica was kind of taking that place a little bit. But regardless of her being like the head bitch in school and whatnot, you know, that girl is a loner. She doesn't really have any real friends. Now she does. As you get more and more into the show, into the third season, she's starting to develop friendships with the serpents and she's dating Tony, you know. But really, before the end of season two, all she really had was Jason. And well, she doesn't have Jason anymore, so she's just feeling very alone. Her parents are abusive and well, let's be honest, okay, Cheryl is not perfect, Cheryl is, she has a mean streak, and so, yeah, if you've got a mean streak, people don't really want to be friends with you all that often. So, you know, she's been trying to change that, she's been doing better with her personality, she still has her moments, I don't think Cheryl will ever get rid of her moments, and I don't think I even want that to really happen, because that is what makes Cheryl, Cheryl. Just don't go too overboard with that, right? All she really wants is a family and friends and whatnot. She just wants connections with people. And I think because of the defense mechanism and all the shit that she was dealing with, uh, with the abuse from her parents, she doesn't really know how to not be so defensive and not be so mean, which is a situation, a thing that she needs to work on because if she doesn't work on that, then obviously it's not going to work out really well for her. You know, I... I feel that. I felt that in high school, you know, I had a couple of friends, but I didn't really feel like I had a real connection with anybody because, you know, while we'd be friends at school or whatever, it's like outside of school, nobody really wanted to connect with me all that much, not in the way that I would see other people be connected. I mean, even now, like with YouTube friends and whatnot, like I don't really feel like I have a real strong connection with as many people as I like to think that I do because connection is like a two-way street, you know? If one person reaches out but the other one doesn't really on their own time, it's like, maybe I am the forgotten one and I, people don't really want that connection with me. Like, I feel those same feelings that Cheryl has and I understand the desire to try to make connections so, so badly. Because being alone and feeling alone really, really sucks. It really does. I'm not saying that Cheryl Blossom is a completely perfect character. Nobody is. It is Riverdale. Nobody in Riverdale is perfect. That That's the whole show. Everybody has their deep, dark secrets and whatnot, right? I've had my own issues in the past. I still have my issues in the past. Even just yesterday, I was probably doing something really crappy. And I'm going to learn from it. And, you know, it's not just me, it's everybody else on this planet. Nobody is perfect. And that's probably why I love Cheryl so much, through all the, with just how messed up she is. Because I relate, and I just, she is that one character that is going through so much growth. It might be slowly, but it's happening. She's gone from someone that just wanted to take care of herself. It was just me, myself, and I, or, or she felt like that was just how she was going to have to be. Like, it was just herself. But now, working with the serpents and, you know, being a serpent and how she was standing up for people, even people she didn't really know all that well. Jughead and Tony, you know, she knows them pretty well. But just, I feel like if you haven't seen the show, you have to see the show to understand what I'm talking about. That's why I love Cheryl Blossom. If you are a Riverdale fan, let me know who your favorite character is. Tell me how you feel about Cheryl. You don't have to love her as much as I do. That's fine, but let's have a conversation about it because I, I really want to talk more about it. As always, I appreciate you watching. Thank you, but before you go, if you haven't, consider being a pledge on a Patreon. It's a great way to support your favorite creator's content. From me, you get perks like music playlists, written pieces you won't see anywhere else, and pen pal letters if you go up high enough. And I will see you later. Bye.